Hi friends, this is Lila. Welcome to my Angular course. In the previous video, we have seen how to pass the authentication token through the HTTP request using the behavior subject and the switch map we have seen, right? Now in this video, what we will try to see is how to pass the token through the interceptor. So we have already learned the concept of interceptor. So we will see right now. So how we can pass this one uh, HTTP token through the interceptor? We will pass. We will see. Why we need to pass through an interceptor is so the same logic what we have write, written here. So the same type of logic is we need to write it for every HTTP request. That means it could be a tedious job for us. So that means we are we are doing we are uh, trying to repeat our code uh, more and more times. So when we whenever we want to make the HTTP request means we need to write this all that switch map and we need to return that observable and all those things we need to do. So what we can do is we can make use of the interceptor and we will try to add the authentication token at the time of interceptor only so that uh, here the logic the common logic will be splitted so we'll try to do this one so before continuing to this video so if you are coming first time to my channel please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i'll be posting more and more front end development courses now let's try to use the interceptor concept so now here we are using this all uh, what I can say uh, authentication token logic right so what I will try to do is here I will try to create a new interceptor file so if you go to the services okay if you go to services here we already have auth interceptor dot service dot ts so this one is doing nothing so what we will try to do is we will try to create another new file so auth token something like this so that you can write from the scratch auth token interceptor dot service dot ts okay so this is the interceptor what I am trying to write. So for creating an interceptor, let's create a class auth token interceptor service. Okay. So whatever the name you want, you can keep the name. So it should implement HTTP interceptor. Okay. It should has to implement interceptor and it should be imported from the Angular common HTTP at the top. Now what I can do? So when, when we implement this HTTP interceptor, so it forces us to implement the uh, method intercept. So intercept takes two, uh, intercept has two parameters. That is first one is request, okay. Request of type HTTP request, okay. HTTP of type request. This also should be imported from the angular common HTTP. And another one is the next. Next means to forward the next request. That is nothing but what I can say is of type HTTP handler. Okay. So these are the two requests. And the return type of this intercept method is observable. So what I can do return next dot handle. Handle returns an observable. We have already seen that one. So request. Okay. So this is the thing. Where we have seen this request in the login interceptor. So for the next dot handle we, it is already what I can see, it's an observable. We already applied the pipe 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 operators. Okay, so that is the reason. So an extra handle is an observable. Now what I need to do here before continuing, I need to apply the auth token. So where I can get the auth token? Auth token I can get from the auth service. So let's inject that auth service. So here constructor. So private auth service, and here I can write auth service. Okay. So I have injected. So in order to inject these all things, we need to use injectable at the top. So injectable. Okay. So don't write here provided it root here. So okay, this is not a service. This is an interceptor. We need to yeah, implement that interceptor in the app module in, in a different way. So okay. Now we have implemented these all things. Now what I need to do here. I need to get the token first. So what I can do this dot auth service dot user subject from the user subject you will be getting dot pipe and here the same logic will be getting take of one. Okay. So one time execute and another time what I can write I can write exhaust map or other switch map you can use anything. So exhaust map and what I will try to do I will get the user here. Okay. So exhaust map will be used to return another observable. Okay. So now we need to return next next observable, this next dot handle observable. So I can go here and I can paste it here. Okay. I need to return this auth service. So now next dot handle will be observable will be replaced. Okay. We need to import this all take and all these things from the 
exhaust map take from the RxJS operators. Now here I need to append the token. Okay, what I can do? First, let's take the modified request. Okay, so let's take the request water. So now I am I am cloning the request. Okay, so I am copying all the required parameters what are present in the request into the modified request, and I am changing whatever the things I want. So I need to change only the params. So what I can do? Request dot params. Okay, request dot params dot append i am appending the sorry request dot params okay dot append i can use the append thing so we are not getting this one so http request we have not imported that is the reason i think yeah this one is imported so then what could be the reason so here what i will be doing uh, let modify request request dot clone okay request dot params okay request dot params dot append of what i can do auth okay auth and the user dot token user dot token i can send the user dot token so this is the thing or what i can send so now what i need to do i need to send this modified request here okay that's all completed now what i need to do okay so what i need to do here this one it should it need to be injected okay so this http request why we are getting an error is it it, it needs to add the date type okay so we don't know what type of uh, response we'll be getting from the http so we can add it as any now you will be getting this params i think okay so now you are getting params okay now we have added the interceptor now what i need to do let's go to the app module and let's initialize that interceptor i can go i can do provider underscore interceptors okay so now i can do the providers underscore interceptors so here i need to use this auth token okay auth token interceptor service i can use this auth token interceptor service and here I, we need to use the multi true so don't don't no need to override these all the things so this this should be executed along with these interceptors okay now this one is completed and what we can do now in the post.service.ts so there is no need for us to implement here again the auth token so interceptor will be taken care what i what i can do here i can copy this all the thing and i can paste it at the top okay only the http request and there, there is no need for us to send the parameters and all those things so it will be taken care and here and we need to do the map thing and we need to copy this one all things so old process so what we will be doing this old process pipe of map so we'll do pipe of map we'll be doing and we can remove this all the code okay so done oh sorry not this one this code okay so how we are getting these all things we have we have implemented this one in the what i can say in the, in the interceptor we have implemented so this is the basic thing and here in the auth token interceptor what it is doing it is doing the so here we are taking the user subscription token and uh, we are modifying and we are sending the next to next uh, next observable now let's go and check the output if i go and check the output here so let's go to authenticate okay authenticate and i can write here test test.com 1 2 3 4 5 6 if i click on for if i click on login and we are unable to log in and error occurred so what is the problem we are getting the problem we are getting is it is trying to append the auth token to the login request also so sign up and login request also so uh, for the sign up and login request you don't need to append the auth token why because from there only we will be getting the auth token then onwards we need to append that one so we need to write a condition in the interceptor in such a way that please don't append the token for this particular type of urls so you can use directly if request dot url is equal is equal like that and uh, like that we can use or otherwise right now we don't we have an option that if the token is not present no no need to apply that one so what i can write here so if not of user so at the time of authentication i will be not getting the user thing so that means user means nothing but token thing so what i can do is simply if not of user just written next dot handle 
of request so simply return the next dot handle of request okay so if user is otherwise if user is present means token is present then add, append the token to the parameters and send now i can go here and i can inspect the element okay i can inspect the element i can go to the console and what i will try to do the same process so network and here test at the rate test.com and here one two three four five six and now i will try to log in so now it has perfectly logged in and now i need to see the pipes uh, sorry post so post request if i try to click on post request so now see now now the auth has been automatically added now if i see if i add a content here if i add a post here so for this one also i need to add the auth token so auth has been successfully added and here you will be able to see the data also and if i click on clear post and for that one also auth has been added and clear post has been cleared if i click on add post again add post add post again the add post is there so if i click on clear post clear post is working now we have successfully appended the auth token to the http outgoing request using the interceptors okay so this one is right uh, very easy right so instead of writing for each http request adding appending the auth token Simply we can write in one place interceptor so that interceptor will be taking care of appending all this is common logic. Okay. I hope you understand this interceptor concept. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.